Well, hey guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and today we got an awesome thing to review for you. This is the Catadyne Be Free Big Old Bottle. This is a 3 liter version, and we've reviewed a 0.5 liter version of this thing, like a small bottle like this. You can check that review out by clicking in the cards up there or in the description. There will be a link to that. And uh, we talked about how awesome this thing is. They have since, Catadyne has since come out with a couple different versions. They now have a 0.6 liter, a 1 liter, and this 3 liter thing. So we've got all of them. We've been using them for quite a long time. Like this is our new filtration system. We used to carry the pocket, the Catadyne pocket. We still carry that for like really big, you know, serious trips. But now if just like a one day, one night hike or any day trips, man, this Be Free bottle is the best. Um, especially this 0.6 liter one. You can put it in your pocket if it's empty. You can have a couple of them bust them out you know even if you're on a road bike or just a small trip even in the car i mean it is it is an amazing bottle it works really well we've been using it so much that actually we've used up one of these filters already and had to replace one um, they're rated for a thousand liters depending on the water quality so if you're using pretty clean water it'll be a thousand liters if you're using any kind of dirty water well you can expect it to be a lot less than that um, but you can wash it out by just you know filling it halfway shaking the bottle and washing it all out um, anyway I want to refer you guys to that other review by, uh, if you click on that link and actually check the, the small bottle out. Here I'm going to focus a little bit more on this big thing. Because this is like more for, uh, you know, if you're camping and you got to have a lot of water for you, this is the thing I'd bring. Now the cool thing is that on all of these, the filter is the same and you can switch them out on any of them. And you can buy them separately. They're about $20, $25. Um, and you know, if the bottle's okay itself, you can just replace the filter when it's not working anymore. So let's test this thing out. Basically, there's a couple ways to do this. Take the filter out, keep that clean, and then you can either scoop the water in there, just like that, or you can pour it in there with a the container. Um, I'm gonna try the scooping method just to see, because usually, you know, if uh, you bring something up, you kinda wanna have minimal things. Um, of course, you could just boil the water if you wanna go totally minimal, um, but this is a little bit more convenient and you don't have to have hot water. So let's see how this works. And real time here, okay. It is a little bit hard to fill because it's not a, it's not a hard side wall kind of container. So you have to just kind of scoop it in there. If you've got this little handle on the side that turns, so you can turn it sideways like that. And about at about one liter there, I think, maybe one and a half. Um, now, if there's a little waterfall type of thing, that would be a lot easier because you could just kind of stick it right under that and just fill it that way. But this is not bad. I'm getting pretty close. Okay. Let's see if we can fill it all the way with this method. Getting pretty close there. All right, I'm gonna call that pretty close. Um, if I really wanted to, I could go all the way and fill it all the way, but let's just stick with that. So then you just screw the little filter right on. Very straightforward. Open it up. And then what you want to do is you want to get this air out of there first. And then, there we go. We're set. And you can drink it straight out of here. If you're really thirsty. You can also hang it up in camp. <clears throat> and then if you have a container that you need to fill, you literally just open it up and you can let it gravity, gravity filter. So you can just hang this up in camp and have it filter as you're doing other things. Um, now the filtration speed on this thing is actually pretty fast. It'll filter about two liters a minute if you squeeze it. You can actually even go more than that if you're drinking it. I mean, it goes really fast, so that's nice. Um, the material that this is built out of is the same as the other bottles. It's like a like a urethane or something. It's hard to pinpoint what exactly this material is. I believe it's like a polyurethane or something like that, but it is BPA-free if you're concerned about that type of stuff. It's plastic, though, so do keep that in mind. It's kind of stretchy, so it's nice. We've had a couple of these bottles get a little tiny holes in them, um, you know, just from not being careful if you throw them down on pricky, prickly pine cones or something like that. Um, but they're really easy to fix. Just a little bit of duct tape or Gorilla tape right over the spot. And we've done that on, a, on one of the bottles, and no problem. Even when you squeeze it really hard, if you just let that tape seal on there for a little bit while it's dry, um, no problem at all. And it has a little instructions on here for how to shake and clean it. Um, 
you know, it's BPA and PVC free. And um, you can put it, let's see, oh, you can um, have this thing be heated to about 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it has, does have the little markings on here for capacity. So it says we're at about three liters right now. So pretty awesome little deal. Um, and then it has two holes here so you can hang it up more like that. I guess, I don't know where, how you would use that as opposed to just hanging it by this. But well, mostly I think we're going to be using it just to, you know, grab some water, bring it to camp, drop it down and have it be our like nightly or daily, uh, daily water. Uh, it's, and it, that's enough. Three liters roughly will, you know, that, that you can cook a bunch of meals, make tea and coffee for two people easily and have, you know, water to drink at night. So really cool, guys. If you want to buy this thing, there will be a link down in the description. Just click on that. Check it out on Amazon. Um, be sure to check out their other bottles like the 0.6 liter bottle and the one liter bottle. Same technology, just smaller, and you can carry them in your pocket. And if you're looking for something bigger, I would say go for this thing. We've been really happy with this um, with this stuff. And I will say as a disclaimer, though, that Catadine did send us these for free for, to, for review. Um, but initially, when I first found out about the Catadine Be Free bottle, I actually bought a couple of them because I thought they were so awesome. Um, and then they, they later contacted me just randomly and said, hey, do you want to review these things? I said, sure, I'll re review them for you. Uh, because I, I really do believe that this thing is a nice product. And I've re recommended them to a bunch of people. And I recommend that, uh, you know, for you guys as well, because it is a nice, nice system. Uh, we used to carry a filter almost always, but now, you know, depending on how short the trip is, we usually just end up bringing one of these or a couple of these beef-free bottles and you're set to go. So thank you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. And don't forget to praise God. Over and out.